Hey folks, Wandering Kid here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Space Chem. We're on Alkanost. We're going to be tackling No Need for Instructions. Our boss fight for this level. Koroke! Or however you pronounce that. I don't know. So, the objective here is to take some very tainted water with uranium, turn it into hydrogen peroxide, and straight uranium. We're going to feed that into a particle accelerator. Then when it's powered with uh, hydrogen peroxide and supplied with some uranium, it will shoot. The hydrogen peroxide increases the charge, the uranium makes it fire. We have four reactors and storage tanks. And as usual for boss levels, we have controls where we can um, deal with F1 through F4 to change the pattern in the middle of the uh, fight. So, hints for the level. Hint 1. Deal with splitting up your water first. Don't do anything until you're done with the water. Hint two. You can do this with two reactors. I recommend three, and you probably shouldn't need your decision controls in the middle of it. Hint three. Worry about building hydrogen peroxide as the last step. This takes a lot of splitting before you start assembling. All right, let's begin. So our first step is to get the water dealt with. Hello, water. Actually, I'm going to bring that down by one. That uh, will make my life a little easier later. Okay. Now we're going to put blue here. Now I'm going to want these against the edge because of what I'm going to be doing with them later. I want them as close as possible for the next set of outputs. We'll deal with them as quickly as possible. So we're going to have red come in. Uh, can, I'm gonna get that out of my way just so I don't it's not visual clutter Where's going to come in it's going to do an in it's going to do a grab it's gonna come over here I'm gonna drop it off for blue and then it's gonna get out of the way Blue once red tells it it's ready to go Is gonna do a grab here come over this way. We'll unbond it here we will ship Omega out. We will now drop our whatever the heck is over here on the left. Come up here. We'll do a bunch of ships and we'll come back through. Now just to show you what this looks like, we'll extend the pipe to here. So red's going to bring in our atom. We don't care what it is yet. We're going to drop it off till blue it's ready to go. Red, blue is going to grab it over here on the left hand side kick out whatever is on the bottom kick out whatever is there fire off that kick out our oxygen and come back now it looks like we can speed this up just a hair by having red come in just a little bit further like so i believe that will work So that's our first cycle. That kicks everybody out. Our second cycle, yep, that's a lot tighter. So what's happening is, is we're kicking out UNH here and always O here. So our O is leaving there. And down here, we're either popping out a hydrogen or uranium. Simple enough. Now, what do we do with it next? Well, we've got it into components, but we need to determine where uranium and hydrogen are going. So that's our next step. We'll stick oxygen up there for the moment. That's better. Now we're gonna use our sensors. We will start, oh, we'll start red here. Red will bring. Grab it in, come this way, grab it, and now decide what it's going to do with it. If it's hydrogen, we will deliver it there and come back. If it's uranium, we will drop it there and come back. Now, the only thing is, is I'm going to move this out of here, because what I'm going to want to do is have blue also get into the cycle. I'm going to actually move this over by one so I can do a crossover sync just to try and keep my symbols down. 
I'm going to start blue here. And we will bring that in in a second. So when red comes through and it's dropped omega and drops psi. Actually, that one's correct. So blue's going to come through, do basically the same thing. Oops, I've got that inputting alpha, not beta. So as we get our inputs, we'll be splitting them out. Uranium here, hydrogen here. This is the one I care about where I'm putting the hydrogen. And we will simply hook this up to uranium for the moment. And let's get that spread out a little bit. So if we run the reactors, as you can see, we're bringing in UNH there. We'll slow this down a second. Blue's waiting for a sink. It's got uranium, so it's going to come over here. Tell Blue to get lost. And our objective here is simply to get this split out as quickly as possible. So that we don't end up with too much of a backlog in this pipeline. Now I think I might want to bring this in a little tighter. But it seems to be working at a reasonable pace. Okay, now our final reactor is going to assemble hydrogen peroxide. Unfortunately, I'm not quite sure I can squeeze the pipes through where I want to. One oxygen there. Okay, that's a little discombobulated. Um... I do like neat pipes, especially when I'm working on YouTube, so you guys can see what the intents are. So I'll bring this up by... Oh, let's bring it up a little bit. Okay, so that's our oxygen pipe. It's coming up from here. And we're going to bring it to the top insert. And that's our hydrogen pipe coming in the bottom insert, which will come in here. Now here's the object. The objective is to just simply try and build this out at a reasonable pace. So we'll start with the oxygen. We'll do an in on our first oxygen. We'll grab it. We're going to come up here just to get it off cycle for a second. We're going to do another in and we're going to come down this way and we're going to bond it. Now we're bringing in hydrogen here. We've got this on the left side of a single bonded oxygen build right now. So it's an O2 atom or an O2 molecule. And we're gonna come down and we're going to bring in our first beta. We're gonna put blue out of the way for the moment. When we get here, we're gonna bond it. Now the other problem is, is now what do I do with it? Which makes perfect sense to me. In theory, I'd want to go here and just rebond it, but I don't have another in spot to play with. That's the that's the only problem with this pattern. So what we have to do is get uh, blue involved. So we're gonna go. We are gonna do the in. We are gonna come down here and bond. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No. We bring in B, we go there. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Bring in B, we go here. All right, we put a sink there to tell blue we're ready to go. There we go, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, sorry, it took me a second to think it through for a moment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have red bring it in, grab it, we're bringing in an oxygen, grab it, bring in another oxygen, bond it. Come over here, bring in one B. We're going to tell blue we're ready to start. It's going to come down one bond and then come over and wait. So, whoops. Blue now knows two cycles out, we're going to want another hydrogen, uh, another hydrogen to come in while it's waiting. Once that hydrogen comes in, we're going to want to bond it. Now we're going to want to tell red it's good to go. 
Come here. Thank you. And then we're going to go back up and we're going to wait for a sink. And that's all it's going to do. Red now is going to drop here, come up this way, and do an out on Omega. And that's oops, going to feed into there. So let's watch this in action for a second. And down here, we've got our red and blue swapping off. It's throwing out oxygen and hydro, uh, uranium and uranium and hydrogen in one spot. Oxygen's going out on the other other output, and then it waits for red to drop off a new one. Over here, we're telling red and blue to just split out our hydrogen and uranium into different outputs, so that we can keep things moving. And up here. I'll let it go through a process once. Red comes in, grabs an oxygen, gives me another oxygen, grabs it, tells B to bring one in. I don't have my spacing up here anymore. That's not good. See, it's supposed to be there. Well, that'll work. Let's try this again one more time. And up in this reactor, we're building hydrogen peroxide. Red is waiting for its oxygens. It grabs one, waits for the second one, bonds it up, brings in a hydrogen, bonds itself out, ships it, brings in one, blue brings in another one for it, bonds it up, and we send it out. We are getting a little bit of a backlog in this pipe. And that's partially because we have uranium backing up in this pipe. So we're going to stop this for a second. What I'm going to do... Let me see, is there a way... Okay, now what I'm going to do with this pipe, it's going to make it really, really long. Like, ridiculously long. That cures our uranium problem. So we'll start having it split out. So that's gotten rid of some of our backlog here. We're shipping uranium all the way around. We are waiting for hydrogens up here a bit. So this portion here, the decide which way the output's going to go, is our biggest slowdown for uh, sending out or stop restart <laughs> sorry guys this reactor here is our biggest concern for cycle time because it's simply not uh pumping atoms through as quickly as we would hope to be able to build out up here getting hydrogens to our hydrogen peroxide builder is our this uh build slowdown so i'm going to slow this stop this for a second and I need to decide if I want to move where I'm doing the hydrogen construction. Right now, setting this up here and moving this over by one would not slow me down compared to being able to get hydrogens out of here faster. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to invert this piece of the build. I'm going to grab these. I'm going to move these up for a second. Just get them out of my way. We're going to push these out by one. Now we're going to grab these again. I'm going to bring these back in by one. Grab that, bring that there. Got my Psi, that's got my Omegas. Okay. Does that truly help? I can bring the start up here. Bring things through faster. And I drop the uranium quicker. So if I bring this start here and drop it down there, and I bring this entire component over by one, and I bring these over by one, it means I can put these sinks here, I can put that there, and I can move the uranium drop component back in. So I've saved myself probably two cycles worth of throughput, we're doing it this way. 
I'm going to be dropping the uranium up here in this corner. Now I do need to go adjust because I've moved where this hydrogen is showing up. That would be here. So we're going to take these components. We're going to move them over by one. These two as well. And that should work out better. So let's take a look. That's moving much faster. Now if we take a look, this is clearing this pipeline a heck of a lot quicker. We're able to build our sodium uh, hydrogen peroxide faster. We're not getting that same backlog of oxygen we were, so we're definitely pushing more through. This has definitely much improved the uh, throughput of this entire build. So what I'm going to do is bring this up to full speed, and we'll see how it goes. Not bad at all. And that's that. So we have finished our assignment. Our next mission will be on Secretar. We are finished with Alkanost. That mission will be ice to meet you. As always, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a comment or a like. They're always appreciated. And I will see you next time.